Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello. For today's video, I will show you how to solve logarithmic equations. Solving logarithmic equations is similar in solving exponential equations. Uh, but this time, we will be applying the different properties of logarithmic functions if necessary. Okay, so without further ado, let's answer the three problems. Solve each logarithmic equation. Okay, let's have the solution first. Okay, for number one, we have the logarithm of x to the base 3 is equal to 5. Okay, so 3 raised to 5 express in exponential form. Okay, so 3 raised to 5, that is equal to x. Okay, so... Uh, let's simplify 3 to the fifth power. Okay, so 3 to the fifth power is equal to, very good, 243. So, paano nangyari? Because 3 raised to 5, okay, so 3 raised to 5, which means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. Okay. 27 times 3 is 81. And then 81 times 3. The answer is 243. Okay. So that's the value of our x. Okay. Nakuha ba guys? So ganun lang siya kadali. So to check. So our x here is. 243. Let's see. So, 3 raised to 5, the answer is 243. Okay, upon checking. Next example, number 2. So, we have the logarithm of quantity 3x plus 1 to the base 2 equals 4. Okay? So, express in exponential form. So, 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 is equal to 3x plus 1. So, this time, we will remove the parentheses or the quantity. Okay? And then, so let's simplify to the 2 to the 4th power. That is equal to 16. Very good. Right? Because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Equals 3x plus 1. So, by the way guys, it doesn't matter kung yung variable natin ay nasa right side at yung magiging sagot natin ay nasa left side. Okay? So, this time, if you wish to uh, solve or transpose 3x sa... Uh, Left side, walang problema. So, from positive, magiging negative. Okay? But I suggest, okay lang yan. So, we will be um uh, transpose positive 1 to the left side. So, it will become negative 1. Okay? So, 16 minus 1 is equal to 3x. And then, 16 minus 1. So, the answer here is 15. Right? Equals 3x. Nasundan ba ako guys? So, solving for x, divide all terms by, very good, positive 3. Kasi 3 yung numerical coefficient niya doon. Okay? So, whatever the number here, dun mo siya di-divide. So, let's cancel out. And then, x is remaining. Natira yung x variable natin dyan. So, 15 divided by 3, the answer is... 5. Okay? So, x equals 5. That's the answer. Okay. So, to check whether our answer is correct, let's see. We, we will plug in only dito. So, 3 times 5, your x is equal to 5. 3 times 5 equals 15 plus 1, 16, right? So, the whole thing here, the answer is 16. So, let's see. 2 to the 4th power, the answer is 16. Gets? Okay, very good. Next, number 3. 
so we have uh, the logarithm of quantity x minus 1 to the base 2 plus the logarithm of 4 to the base 2 equals 3. Okay, so same procedure lang ng ginawa natin guys. So as what I have mentioned earlier, kung kinakailangan natin i-apply yung different properties of logarithm, uh, gagamitin natin yon. Okay, so dito guys, applicable yung product property, right? Okay, very good. Okay, we're in pagsasamahin lang natin yan. So this becomes the logarithm of quantity x minus 1, tapos eto, times 4 to the base 2. Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, the next thing to do, yan, copy nyo lang yan, bring down. Okay? So, express in exponential form. Okay? Kumbaga guys, um, naka-expanded to. So, express as a single logarithm. And, yun nga, gagamitan natin ng different properties of uh, logarithms, if necessary. Okay? And then, so, 2 to raised to the third power. So, this becomes 2 cubed equals, eto guys, pwede yan. So, quantity x minus 1 times 4. And then, let's simplify. What is 2 cubed? That is equal to 8. Very good. Kasi 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? And then, uh, let's um, distribute, multiply, 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, right? Okay, by combining like terms, so we come up with, bring down yung positive 4x. Si yung negative 4, ilipat natin sa kabla, it will become positive 4. So, 8 added by 4. Just bring down, okay? So, add 8 plus 4, 12, right? equals 4x. Solving 4x, so we need to divide all terms by positive 4. Okay? Kasi siya yung uh, numerical coefficient ng variable x natin. Of course, hindi lang dito sa right side, applicable din sa left side by the division property of equality. Okay? And then, the next thing to do, cancel out. Okay? And then, divide natin. So, 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. So, x is equal to 3. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. Kung meron kayong natutunan sa video ng ito, kindly like and share. Again, this is your math teacher, Sir Jello. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.